Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Souders, Slunger Cat Outdoors, back with you again on the water for a Tackle Talk Tuesday. And this week, I'm going to ask somebody that has been in a kayak for many, many, many years <laughs> what his top five things are, not safety related, but fish related, that he would have in a kayak. So stick around. So, Jason, why don't you give us what you would consider five of the biggest things that cat fishermen need on a kayak? Well, Chris, other I, than the obvious, I want, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it tough on you. You yeah. can't you can't talk about rod holders. You can't talk yeah, okay, about okay, okay. Uh, but five things that most people, especially beginners, uh, would overlook. Okay. So I told you at the beginning of this trip, there's a difference between an experienced kayaker, a kayaker, and uh, a newbie, yeah, and absolutely. you know what it is. <laughs> it's right there. Bathroom. It's bathroom supplies, toilet paper. I w I could tell you hey. that any experienced kayak angler has been on the water, has has been in trouble, and had to pull off water, and they went home without their underwear. Well, whenever you told me that, whenever he told me that, I went to my truck. <laughs> and I pulled out a bunch of McDonald's napkins. Oh, that's the greatest. Does that classify it, me as it experience? It does. It does. Now you're experienced. Now you know if anything <laughs> happens. If that coffee hits you a little too hard, Ooh. You, you got all these places you can jump up there and, and take care of your business. So. That coffee was rough this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't no Starbucks. You know, no. I like the foofy coffee sometimes. But So number two. Number, number two. two um, I, you know, number two can be a plethora of things, but I think for the most important things, when you get your kayak, everybody just jumps down the YouTube rabbit hole and they feel like they just have to dump monsoons of money on extracurriculars. Yep. You don't have to. Kayak fishing is the simplest form of fishing. All you need is a paddle, a kayak, and a fishing rod. You don't need a depth finder. You don't need fancy rods. You don't need fancy drives. You don't need fancy torpedoes or trolling motors or eye polish. You nope. just need a boat, a paddle, a life vest is most important, yep. but we're not we're not talking about safety. <laughs> And you know, and a fishing rod. You don't yeah. even need two rods, just one. That's yeah. right. And this boat right here is a prime example of that. Other than, I mean, I did put a, a sonar on it, um, but everything else that I have done in here has been stuff from my garage. Yes. Uh, extra rod holders that I had laying around, a milk crate. Yep. Um, little Walmart rod holders to, to bolt on the milk crate. Absolutely. And uh, so, yeah good tip what you did on yours i mean you laid it out perfectly this is exactly what you're supposed to do make what you have at home work yeah and then as you learn the way you want to kayak fish you tailor your kayak to that yeah you know i've spent thousands of dollars in, in extras only to sell them and lose money you know what i mean yeah. so uh i'd say the number three thing is if you're competitive you're going to start getting in tournament trails and in the catfish tournament trail you're going to need a bump board now, I've been doing this for a while, and I forgot my bump board today, or this morning rushing out, but Chris lent, lent me his, and it came in handy, you know, so uh, a bump board is, is an absolute must if you're going to compete. Yep. Um, that way you can measure your fish, because when you're doing kayak tournaments, you don't measure it by weight, you know. It's by inches. It's by inches, so. Which you know, is completely different for me. Absolutely, yep. And there's a way you got to, uh, to put your fish on the board, you know, you can't have the eyes covered. Um, mouth's got to be completely against the, the bump board part of it, you know, the beginning of the board, which is going to be right here. Mouth's got to be there. A lot of people put stickers here because yeah. what the stickers do is help the judges see that the fish's mouth is touching that. I got you. Uh, you know, when you put your on there, you can't uh, you can put your hand down here. You can't double hand or cover specific parts of the fish because there's been instances in the bass world where cheaters have cut the fish off tails to, and hid the cut to make the tails longer. Wow. They've taken markers and drew black lines on the bass, you know, to make them seem longer and they've cut their boards. I mean, it's, so, um, you know, just get a nice quality bump board. The plastic bump boards are out now in tournament fishing. You don't, you can't use them. They, uh, specifically, they're called hog troughs. They got thrown out because too many people were modifying and cheating them. I got so, you. Uh, now we use catch boards. And uh, now Catch released a composite board, which is going to be cheaper, you know. So there's a, there's a few different models out there. Uh, that's definitely number three. If you're going to compete, and I highly recommend you guys check out Trophy Kayak, uh, Trophy Catfish Kayak Association. Uh, if look him up on Facebook. They run a great trail. Ron Himmelhaven, he's, if, hopefully I didn't butcher his last name, but he is, <laughs> he's done great with that. So check that out. Um, we're on number four. Number four. 
folks. <laughs> I've lost two pair. <laughs> he lost another one today. <laughs> so get you a good set of fish grips. And when you use these fish grips, put your hand through them. Is that what that's for? That's what that's for. Man. See, see, Chris got this. He, Chris got this thing where he just holds them like this, and you know, then the fish go crazy. But I've seen him on camera lose a pair, and I saw him <laughs> today lose a pair. Fish grips are invaluable. You yes, know? they are. They are absolutely invaluable. Um, they're going to save your hands getting tore up, and then also, you know, a pair of gloves. Yeah. You know, it's because uh, they will rip your hands up, especially yeah. them small ones. They're mirroring. And, you heck. know, those those gloves. They can even bite through those gloves. Too. Absolutely. They can. They can. So um, now here's the big one. Yeah. Number five. Yeah. What you got? Don't leave them hanging. Man. No, I'm not going to leave them hanging. And this one's probably going to be the most simple thing is bring tools. Go bring bag. some tools. Bring some tools. Bring a screwdriver or a multi tool. Yep. Bring a, uh, a set of Allen wrenches because today's perfect example. Yep. You know, I, I was climbing out of my kayak to get up on shore to, to re, uh, re rig a leader and I tripped over my rod holder and I pulled the gear track loose. Yep. You know, and I didn't have a screwdriver to screw it back down. So bring tools, uh, look around your kayak and if you see screws or you see Allen wrenches, uh, I don't know what the nuts are called, but Allen heads, if you just pair your tools with your kayaks, you know, and uh, you should be set. So that's that's five pretty good pieces of advice right yes, there. Yes, it is, so. yes it is. Well, there you have it folks. Simple stuff, but very important stuff. Absolutely, yep. So. I want to thank Jason for doing that for yeah, us. Absolutely. If you guys do not know who he is, uh, look up Paddle and Finn. Yep, Paddle uh, and Finn podcast. podcast. Number one fishing podcast in the U.S. right now. That's right. That's awesome. Yep. And now, do you have a YouTube channel or anything? No, no YouTube channel. Well, we have Paddle and Finn, the the uh, podcast does. Yep. Okay. Check it out, Paddle and Finn on YouTube. Uh, tons. Every podcast that they air, they put a YouTube video out on. So oh, it's nice. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, check it out, folks. Hopefully that helps you if you're just getting into kayak fishing. I know he's helped me a lot. Uh, <laughs> I know I may know how to catfish, but you know, catching them out of a plastic boat is <laughs> is all new to me. It's it's combat fishing. It you is. Know, you're right there on the water. Fires. Yeah, yeah, so. absolutely. So check out jacksonkayak.com. You know, yeah, absolutely. The brand that I'm I'm the That's, Midwest team manager for them, and we love them. You know, That's what this boat is, and. Shoot, it's a nice boat. It is a nice boat. And uh, check out Yak Gadget. Yak, Yak Gadget, Gadget makes cheap, uh, you know, cheap priced kayak rigging accessories, and they're great. Man. Nice. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, folks, that's going to do it for us today, Tackle Talk Tuesday. Until next week, we will catch you guys on the water. God bless.